Dr. M.M. Omokaro, the Director General of National Senior Citizen Center, has called for an end to the discrimination and abuse of older persons in the country. Omokaro made the call while commemorating the 2022 World Elder Abuse Awareness Day in Abuja. The event, with the theme, Mobilizing National Age-Friendly Support Network for Senior Citizens, was organized by NSCC. The NSCC board stressed that the engagement will provide an opportunity for lifelong learning to enhance effective and beneficial intergenerational interaction. Today is very significant because it is a day set aside to create awareness on what has become a phenomenon in a negative sense, the abuse of older persons. Today is that day that we are here to talk about elder abuse, types of abuse, and then what indeed the solutions could be and whether at all we have the framework to find the solution. If you notice, our particular focus by our theme today is on mobilizing age-friendly national support network for senior citizens. We chose that theme. And the theme simply is telling us that every single person, every single sector, Every single community, every single ministry, department, agency, whether you are non-governmental, wherever you are, every single person has a role to play. And what would be the beginning of that role? It will be first to understand the issue and then to understand your place in the context of that issue. And then to understand that you have the power, using your understanding, to influence change. So every single person here is powerful. And every single person here has the ability to change and to stop elder abuse. Speaking, the president of Nigeria Union of Journalists, Mr. Chris Isuzugu, urged Nigerians to lend their voices to and the abuse of older persons, just as children's and women's rights are given priority. I must have to applaud the government of Nigeria for now waking up from 11-year-old slumber to put this together, to begin to appreciate the need for us to care for our older generation. What the administration of President Muhammad Buhari has done should equally be replicated at different state levels so that our governors would equally establish such centers that will begin to care for the older generation, for our elders, for the senior citizens, so that it will not be wholly left at the doorstep of President Muhammad Buhari or the Director General of the Center. Even beyond the state, it should also go to the local government areas. By the time you have the center established across the several and four local government areas of the country, it trickles down further to the communities. We would have come to terms with the fact that the need to care for our elders is something that we must take as a normal thing, as a lifestyle, as a tradition. Similarly, Mr. Emmanuel Ogbache, the NUJ FCT Council Chairman, called on Omokaro to build the capacity of members of the NSCC Press Corps to enable them to report issues of older persons and the center. As um, a council here in Abuja of the NUJ, let me reiterate the commitment which the president has made that will continue to support what you're doing because you have come very far and there's still a whole lot to be done and we remain committed in supporting you in this endeavor. Dr. Ogugwa Osiogbu, 
from the Geriatrics Association of Nigeria said aging is multisectoral, adding that all hands should be on deck. We want to see a Nigeria where older persons have autonomy, they have respect, they can make their own decisions. So we all must reflect on those practices that discriminate against the older persons. Age does not make your rights end, and that's actually the, the global theme for today, that rights do not end with age. So every one of us, whether you've just been born today or you're 90 years old, you have a right to do everything that you have capacity for and you have the determination to do and you have the joy to do. High point of the event was the inauguration of NSCC Press Corps and the award of certificates to older persons DEX officers from 32 MDAs that were recently trained in Abuja. The event attracted officials from the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, National Identity Management Commission, National Health Insurance Scheme, National Orientation Agency, National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, National Union of Pensioners and many others.